All right, folks, new day. <clears throat> what are we gonna do? I feel, well, don't feel, we gotta finish up this grill, get this sorted out. I keep staring at it, and I think without those parts on the bottom, that grill just got wider, so. I'm gonna kinda put that stuff back or remake some new ones. Uh, I don't mind how deep the grill is, so we'll probably leave that. So we'll be able to trim, cut that, put it in. Uh, the pieces I cut out on the back side will be, uh, I'm just gonna flush weld. We're gonna do something around here, figure that out. And the lower part really doesn't bother me. I don't see it. I know you can't tell. Give me some light down there. If you look down there, you can see where this part goes. So I'm gonna figure out how to do some kind of a transition over here and then I can just keep this one mount. Uh, Cause it kind of just hides that ugliness. So it's either that or maybe I'll cut it back. I just don't know if I want to expose the ugly stuff that is the grill there. So maybe I'll make a weird transition. I don't know. We'll figure it up. We'll make it up as we go. Anyways, let's get started.
All right. Well, she's slowly taking shape. Uh, I don't have anything for a chin. I just stuck some solid stock in there. That'll kind of hold it together while we kind of puzzle some pieces together. Because she's a little, a little thin, a little thin in places. And the bits that I cut off, I welded them back on. Because, well, it turns out I'm pretty sure I like the look of them. So, goes to say with steel, it don't matter if you screw up. Because you can just weld the junk back on and start all over again. So, we got to do that. But in doing that, we can see there's some quite the differences. Like there's some, I have more stuff here. Like where the fender used to go. But I'm missing a big chunk here, which is kind of cool because I can kind of make, I know it does something here, but I can kind of make my own thing because it's not going on any car. I can make that however I want. So that's a win. We do have to match this up though to this side because this has a little more meat to it before that. But then you can see the missing on here is like insane because this is that little tab that I did. So I have the same amount on the other side because technically I had this resting on the frame to uh, you know do my height so this is there I could trim this away that's not an issue there maybe I'll do that or I'm just gonna kind of finish this thing into there I think what I'll do here is somehow I'll make this thing transition over into this because I do like this this mount that I have it's the one that I cur currently have I'm leaving it there I like it these top ones hit the other ones so I'm gonna do that as well so it's kind of everything's working out I still haven't trimmed into here because this, this part's overlapped. This is butt welded. It was pretty, I didn't have to do the lap and butt weld because it's pretty straightforward. It's not crazy perfect, but I don't think this grill was because it was pretty beat to start with. So it's working out, working out. We'll have to uh, slice and dice these yet. I want to do that, but we'll keep farting around with the bottom here. Get it going, kind of get it similar. I mean, it is the bottom. All you really care about is the main front that you hit, because here the frame horns are coming and stuff. So there's not a lot of, a lot of cares really, as long as it's, I guess, symmetrical or whatever from side to side. If, you know, nobody's going to notice except for me and you. But, <laughs> anyways, this one here, like I say, is not bad. This, I, there's no real shape to this, so I'm just going to make a piece that'll come over into that. Uh, this will get trimmed back a little bit, but. Just because we have, this is my my centering hole to hold the grill on. But, uh, well, let's pop the grill on. See if my, uh, my hunch was right that these were needed to make the grill look thinning. Thin it up a little bit. I'm kind of thinking it will, but uh, we'll, we'll bolt her on quick and have a peek -see. Well, it still looks fat, but it doesn't look as fat on the bottom there. I don't know. I think it thins, it thinned it up a little bit. Like I don't know why, because if if that thing just went round on the bottom, <clears throat> it looked thicker. And now the grill almost looks like this isn't as thick. Meh, could be me. I don't know, but I think it looks better. So, and I guess in the end, that's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we're gonna continue on gluing random things together. Try to make work piece by piece here and uh, get her to fit better or get get all the bits back. So like I was saying, if you go to this side, it's not too bad. Like it's only this weird angle, so I don't know. Well, yeah, this has got to go there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll just do something to fill this. It'll hide that mount a little bit. This side, it's all slaughtered. So there's like tons of stuff exposed there. So I think once this finishes up and I kind of do a little something something, I think it's, uh, Gonna clean up the side pretty good. I mean, you can't deny it. It is a big grill, but it would have been a big grill for the truck anyways, so. Now it just fits the profile a little better. And I do like just that little bit I took out. It doesn't look so thick. It wasn't much, eh? Just took one little slink of tape. Three quarter, one inch, something like that. All right, back to the workbench. Keep buzzing along. Oh. I know people are going to ask how I'm welding without a helmet. I'm just spot welding and I'm just using the old safety squints. So there's nothing special, but I am not uh, directly staring at it. So that tends to burn the eyes a little bit after a while. So I don't recommend that. 
the old safety squints and looking away. So I decided to take this thing outside and sandblast it just to make it a little more pleasurable to work on. So um, could have done a little better job, but I got to cut that off anyways to kind of remake some of this. So that's not a, a terrible deal. And uh, seeing how it's one of our warmer days today, I figured I'd <laughs> quickly do that. So uh, yeah, anyways, that's sandblasted and done. So. We're just going to continue on trying to uh, do the filling process here.
Let's see if I can explain this, what I did. It's kind of self-explanatory, I was showing you, other than when I took off just to run the shear or something to cut and do some bends. But I basically broke it down into manageable chunks, I guess. I don't know if I chatted anywhere in the middle of this. But um, I made this little piece first, because this mirrors what was missing on this side, or at least loosely does. So that's okay. Then I, uh, what did I do? I made this piece, so I think I explained a little bit. I just kind of formed it around, did my thing, cut the rusty junk out. We've zapped it together. Uh, then just welded up the piece that I cut off. <laughs> Whatever. Finished up this weld, and then, like this was welded in, so I cut some of this back out. It's not a big deal. I made a piece that I think will look pleasing to the bottom of the grill when you look behind the headlight. Kind of that idea. I still have to figure this out. But in my head, I think, like this bottom part's not relevant anymore. So I think what I might try to do when I weld this part up is I'll try to recess this and just sink it into where this light, or where this bolt hole is. I'll kind of round this out. Just whatever. Looks like it's the way it was supposed to be. So that's the plan when I get there. Uh, oh, then up here, we kind of, whatever, I did my thing. I don't have anything, so I'm going to pretend it had a pointy, a little bit of a pointy chin. We did that. We just kind of beat stuff over, did whatever I needed to do. Some of it I was just using this. I uh, made this out of a piece of rail. I just torched this off and just sat with a grinder for a long time and sort of made myself an anvil. It's got a nice shape, similar to this curve, so I was just finishing the curve up nicely on there. This piece, you, I could have made it on the wheel, the plenishing hammer, anything. It's a small piece and it's at the bottom of the grill and it's going to get murdered, so whatever. All I did is I you know, kind of loosely made the piece, kind of wrapped it around. I sandwiched it over. For the most part, it worked okay. We just did the old farmer cuts to relief. There was too much steel in there. So I just cut that. There was a little bit of a high spot in the middle, so I cut it a little bit further. And then I was able to lightly tap at the hammer and we got a nice shape. When you grind it and put a little bit of schmooze on it, it's gonna be fine. So this was probably the worst side. And uh, we kind of banged that out. I don't know. I don't know if I have an hour. I don't have more than an hour in it, so it doesn't sound bad. I, welding, yeah, I just kind of weld. Everything's on a curve, so I'm not worried about things warping, and everything is kind of banged up, so, and especially all the curvy stuff. I don't know. I think I should do a video just explaining how I weld, because it seems to work for me, and I don't know. I can show you my welder settings, but that never means anything, and people run different welders, so. Uh, like I can, on this particular piece, I was anywhere from A to C I would use. Most of the time, if I can get away with it, I'll use A because I can lay an inch of weld. And uh, it just, I don't know, it makes as much heat as that thing would on C, uh, you know, making a spot weld. So I should do that. I don't know. What do you think? If you guys want to see something like that, I can probably make up a video explaining how I do sheet metal like on flat panels and maybe try with different welders because there I know a lot of you folks run flux welders and you to be completely honest the welders will work totally fine but you're not going to be doing butt welds with a flux welder like the old cut and butt that you're going to be a pretty ace at, it, at one of those things and even I would struggle with that <clears throat> I would end up just doing lap welds it's kind of the it's not right or wrong it would work for people but anyways I am blabbing <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to uh, this side where I got to basically, now I have a template for the pieces I need to uh, make a piece over here now. Now I can kind of mirror this. Whatever's here, we'll try to bang out, but it's just going to get a little schmooze top to bottom. And uh, do that, do this. And then I think we'll have to work around the top piece after. But for now, let's just uh, finish up this grill. Or finish the lower part anyways. We got a lot of grinding and stuff, but that's all cosmetic after.
All right, that didn't uh, take very long. <clears throat> kind of doing a guesstimate. I think that was about 45 minutes. I think I still have a little more welding, but. <clears throat> so we made up this bottom section to match this section. So we got that. We got this welded. We have it sort of cleaned up. We still got to do more work, but we're just in the roughing stage right now. So I don't know. It's not too bad. I think we got a couple hours maybe into this so far. Uh, next thing to do, like we'll have to bash some stuff out. There's no denying it's going to need filler. I mean, the rest of the truck's got it. This I don't think I'll mind doing because it's very small. <laughs> Anywho, uh, next step, I think just to get it out of the way, will be to burn in this lip just because it's there. Cosmetically, it looks nice, looks better than nothing in my eyes. So we're going to zap that in and then, uh, then we'll come down after and figure out how I'm going to do this transition over. And... Yeah, we'll see where we go from there. But uh, slow and steady, one piece at a time.
Well, that turned out not bad. We got, uh, well, it's just loosely in there. I kind of made some kind of a, a filler, nothing fancy. I just, I don't know. I bead rolled something, tried to make things look sort of like they're supposed to be there. Eh, it's fine. It should be okay. Uh, edges are all welded. That's all good. Sides are all good. I just realized I missed this spot here. So I'll have to touch that up. Probably fill this in. And go over and dress everything. But I think overall, we're pretty much the same side to side. <laughs> kind of hard to tell. There's more welding stuff going on there. But yeah, once it's filled, I think we'll be good. Yeah, I think this is all right. I'm not sure what I do for a grill yet. I know some folks are just saying I could cut it on the plasma, which really does make sense, honestly. But I'm not sure what I want to put in there. Uh, I don't know how I want to do the car. Because I could always cut, make a louvered panel stick in. I could do other random things. A part of me just wants to see. I should have enough like aluminum left over that if I uh, do my seats inside that I can make like cut on a plasma. Something similar to this that either a feather could polish or do something. Like at least make some teeth. Should be doable. I'm not sure how bad or that thing would warp on the plasma, but it uh, might be worth a try. Because then at least I'd have like something kind of shiny inside of there. I could, uh, in my head, make some tabs on the inside. That way I can make it oversized and then bolt it in from behind here. So that's kind of the plan. I kind of feel, hopefully it wasn't uh, very boring this one, but I kind of feel the video is kind of long run out right now. So I think next round we're going to, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a grill insert yet. I'm hoping. Depends if I can find something. If I have to make something, I'm just really worried that when I cut it, it's just going to warp to, to crap. So that could be a problem. We'll figure something out, but I do have to finish up the grill, maybe get some body work done on it. I have uh, figured I'm going to take a risk and try this motor. This is the one that I was mocking up in this one, using all the time. Pretty much went through it. Everything looks good inside of it, so... I don't know. Fingers crossed it'll be okay. Uh, we just kind of splash some paint through some new gaskets in it. And uh, it's like got a completely unknown cam, so hopefully it's not very big. I don't think it will be, but what do I know? It's kind of why I took the other motor out. <laughs> so of my luck, I might screw myself, but uh, the motor's not that hard to take out. So I should just run it on the floor just to see, but... Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll do that yet. Just fire it on the fire it on the stand here and just see what it, what this thing's all about. Make sure it works okay before we throw it in the car. In the T. But anyways, I think like I say, I think I'm going to leave this one here. We got most of our grill all sorted out. Right, buddy? What do you think? You're more chill than this other guy. Right? Nah, you're all mopey, eh? Hey, eh? You mopey? <laughs> Alright, anyways. I want to thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.